Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena Bond and I'm a dating and relationship coach for men at selenabond.com. If you would like to work with me, I will leave a link in my description box to my website with all of my services, including my social media. So please follow me on Instagram at Selena Eliz. So today I have the topic of texting and texting women to keep them interested. And I have some notes written down here on my phone. I have three steps, super simple. I probably could have made a reel um, or a TikTok on this and I might to maybe expand a little bit more on it. But the main reason why I created this video we, was I need to preface something because I'm finding it super common that on a lot of my TikToks that men are commenting this and I wasn't going to really bring attention to it but um, there is a lot of hurt and darkness in the world and I know everyone's going through something on some sort of capacity and level but the amount of men that are commenting saying that um, why do we have to text women to keep them interested? Why do we have to pursue them? Why do we have to do this? Why is dating so easy for women? Um, saying women are the problem. There is so much blame and division. It's crazy. It's literally insane. And I have to bring light to it. I know not everyone's like that and I get some wonder wonderful comments, but the majority of the comments that I do get is very, um, dividing, very placing blame, um, and that is just not something that I stand for in my work. Everyone that I work with works with me because they see my value and because I don't take any excuses. You have to own who you are, what you are attracting, and accept self-responsibility for everything in your, in your dating life. And anything that you are not accepting is what you're projecting. And if you are projecting that onto um, other people, it's perpetuating the same story, the same trauma, the same hurt, the same darkness. And I want to just say that because the tips and things that I share in my videos and what I help through my work is to help you evolve to a higher level and, and consciousness of self higher level of self-awareness, expansion, connection, love. So let's just say that because this video, even though it is labeled as how to text women to keep them interested, as you know, most of my titles are a little bit for the algorithm. That is just what you have to do to get the message out there to a broader audience. But as you all know, when you watch all of my videos, I do go deeper into each topic and give you the best well-rounded version of, of advice, knowledge that I can share with you um, without, you know, for free, without me um, knowing you personally. That's why people work with me as a coach, because if we do, then we can kind of get to the root of each individual person's um, issues or trauma, communication, all of that stuff. So I just wanted to say that because <laughs> I just get, I, I get a crazy amount of comments like that. And um, I do, I do allow people to express themselves freely and say those things, but I do block people that are shaming or putting down women or are just not conducive or constructive to the world and message. So just wanted to say that. With that being said, let's go over these three tips. Um, and I would like to hear what you all think in the comments. So please comment down maybe as you go, like this video if you find it helpful, and let's get started. So, how to text women to keep them interested. Number one, text to build rapport and comfort. So I've been getting a few questions on TikTok as well on how to kind of build rapport. So building rapport is finding commonalities, common interests, common passions. You wanna get on the same page with what you are both um, enjoying, uh, maybe what you're saying morales are things like that. Um, and through building that kind of rapport, you will eventually build comfort if you're doing it right. And when a woman is comfortable with you, she's a little bit more open, maybe she's sharing things about her family or what she hopes for the future, what she's working on in the present. And this kind of comfort, level of comfort is what you want so that you can, I mean, the end goal is eventually to be intimate with each other and to build a deeper connection. So once you kind of have that comfort, and it works for both ways, for men and women, um, that is really important. So I put that as number one on how to text women is build the comfort and rapport. Now, 
to go along with number one, I would also say, maybe this is 1A, <laughs> um, is that you do need to lead with masculine energy. So asking for her phone number is always the first step. Asking if she's single is also part of that. Um, I do have a reel on what is important to be aware of before you are building comfort and rapport. Make sure she's single, super helpful. Ask for her phone number. Um, that is also a good go. And you can even kind of ask, you know, if she's interested, usually if she's gonna give you her phone number, she's more than likely interested. Um, I mean, she might give you her phone number to get rid of you. I know some women do ghost. I mean, it happens. I don't feel we should put blame on women, but she might also give you her phone number because in that moment, that's what she feels comfortable in doing, but perhaps she might change her mind or maybe she just did it in the moment because of how the approach was and, and she didn't know what else to do and she felt a bit cornered. There's lots of reasons. We have to be a little bit empathetic with the situation. Women are very understanding of how men approach. Um, I always give men, uh, you know, kudos and compliments in the way when they're really confident and they approach a woman. I think it's it's really beautiful and I'm, you know, I'm glad that they're going after what they want. That masculine energy is always appreciated. We need more of it in this world. So I just want to say that that is an important energy to lead with. I do have a free energy chart, which if you've been following my Instagram, you know I've been talking about a lot that is planning to come out ASAP, um, depending when this video goes up. So definitely DM me your email if you're interested in that and how to balance your energies within dating and relationships. But super important to lead with the masculine energy so that you can uh, lead with the intent of building rapport and comfort. So that's part of number one. Number two would be to plan the date. I feel like maybe guys are waiting for a sign of when it's ready to plan a date. Uh, when she is going to accept and say yes. And it is important to kind of know the social cues, the verbal cues of when she is ready, and I can help you with that as a coach. But once you kind of get that feeling, plan the date. Confirm, secure the date place and time, and get that going. Don't be waiting weeks and weeks um, of building this comfort and rapport because chances are, and you should be doing this too, she's talking to other people and Time is of the essence. You want to get her in person and really build that connection in person. Texting is only to plan the date. Do not keep these long um, textual relationships, video call relationships. I mean, I guess uh, if you are long distance, there are certain things that you kind of have to do. And I do have videos on virtual dating, which I will probably link up here. But um, it is important to get the person in person, which is why I don't recommend having these emotional relationships and connections over texting and over video calls. And I know that was very prevalent during this time in the world with lockdowns and such, but let's not make that the norm. That is not the new normal and we need to continue having in-person contact and connections. So that was number two, text to plan the date. And number three, this might be shocking, Rinse and repeat. It's literally keep doing the same thing. Do it with multiple women. This is circular dating. Doesn't mean you have to sleep with all of them or lead them all on. It's you just connecting with different women and spreading out your energy so that it's not all needy energy on just one woman. And it's like all your eggs in one basket, do or die. No, you want to rinse and repeat with multiple women um, for weeks, you know, go on a few dates a week and just make it a really casual, fun part of your social life, of you connecting with different people. Perhaps not everyone's gonna be your cup of tea, but that's life. It's the same with when you're making friends, you know, when you're in school, in the playground, not everyone's gonna be your BFF. You know, you're not gonna connect with everyone right away, but those people that you do, those are the people that you wanna continually hang out with, build that comfort and rapport and build that connection with them. And who knows, it could be your lifelong partner that you've been dreaming of. So you kind of do have to put in the reps, put in the effort, and um, that's what's going to give you the results. Now, the last part of this is to keep them interested. So to keep them interested goes back to number one. You're gonna keep someone interested in the conversation if you are leading with that masculine energy that is being polarizing. And if you want to attract that feminine energy woman, it's important to be polarizing, which is why I emphasize so much about my energy cheat sheet, chart, whatever I'm calling it, 
it's super important to understand both sides of the chart, both sides of masculine energy and feminine energy, so that you can be polarizing, you can spark interest, and you can create this intriguing, mysterious persona, but that's a lot of fun, that's playful, um, that's definitive, decisive. There's so many different qualities that you can add to your repertoire and really lead with and um, speak with and, and with your body and with your words. So please DM me on Instagram if you are interested in that free chart that I myself have created, super proud of. Um, and it's something, it's kind of unique. I will be doing a few Instagram lives, perhaps another YouTube video on, and of course, any of my clients that I'm working with here on out, we can use that specifically when we are working together, um, helping you with your text conversations, your communication, how to communicate it within relationships. So it's gonna be super pivotal. I'm super excited about it. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I wanna hear what you think because um, I know it's been crazy weird times texting, people and trying to build connections in this world. So I want to know what are the kind of issues that you've been dealing with and how can I help you move through that and evolve into the best version of you. So thank you for watching and I will see you in another one.